What's up, Moose Mafia? It's your girly Kane, and we're going to Disney World. Yeah! Yeah! We are going to Disney World, y'all, and what's today? Four days. Four days. We land in Florida in four days. In the next four days, I got the four theme park ticket. And then the last day is when we catch the flight back home. We are having to drive to Detroit to catch the flight out of Detroit because I waited to the last minute to do this. And all the tickets was cheapest out of Detroit, honestly. I was really waiting because if you guys know, I just got done filming my new show on Unexpected TV, Pretty and Ratchet with Brie. My brown skin honey bun, per. Make sure y'all go tap in when it drops. I just got done shooting that for five days in Florida. And I really was depending on my front end check of that so I could pay for this. But because some things got mixed up, I had to get my front end and my back end at the same time, which caused me to now I have to wait longer to cash the check because my back end I wasn't supposed to get until two weeks after we got done filming the show. I'm still having car troubles, y'all. I got a brand new battery. For some reason, it's not detecting my key. We went to Advanced Auto Parts, got brand new batteries for the key fobs, still not detecting my key. So it's just something going on, y'all. People keep telling me buy a new car, buy a new car, y'all. I have faith in this journey. This Dodge journey is gonna get me somewhere, okay? I got faith in it, plus I still owe money on it. But I'm be honest, I was literally better off instead of paying $5,000 for that engine back in February, I literally should've used that $5,000 and just paid off what I owe. And then bought a new car, honestly. But I wasn't thinking. I literally, it just, honestly, at the time, it didn't make sense to me to buy a new car. Especially because I was planning on moving this year. I had a feeling I was going to get put out that old crib. So, we got a prep, honey. I woke up today at 8.30. I noticed, though, my kids are not home. I am not grounded at all. I don't have no self-discipline. I literally go wild, willy-nilly, and lose all my good habits that I've been working so hard on. It's literally a new month, and... I just been so tired from July of building everything, putting everything together, making sure everything is coming and trying to, you know, rush to get everything so done that as soon as I dropped my kids off and had to go shoot that show in Florida, I fell back into some bad, bad habits, okay? Um, my kids are about to start school soon. It's so exciting. It's a new adventure. I don't think I'm going to be sad this time because I already went through this with my son last year, so I think I'm probably... You know, and I think Mumi's, she ready for school. She want to go to school. She's so outgoing. She so, you know, my son kind of remind me more of me because I was more shy as a kid. A lot of people say Mumi's reminding me. I didn't act like that as a kid. I just have been able to be free and be myself. I wasn't able to act like that as a kid, Um, which is, I'm so glad that Mumi's get to do that. But I was more like my son. I was more shy. I was more like to myself, to my family. I speak to my family and stuff like that. I was more like him in a lot of ways. But Mumi's, I feel like she's, people are just, people gravitate towards her. Um, I don't even know if I told y'all this before, but at the old place, she was, she just know how to make friends. Like she's very opinionated. Um, she's only three years old. And at the old place, the other girls was, had to be at least seven and nine. And y'all, they will follow her around. Like they loved her. She just was so, okay, we're going to do this now. How about we play, like, she's just, she's just everything I wish I could have been as a child, y'all feel me? So, I'm kind of living vicariously through her, honestly. So, yeah, y'all, kids starting school. I still got to go school shopping. But for all that, I'm not going to stress my brain about that because uh, it's all right. Let's prep for this Disney trip. My room, y'all, it's literally a mess. Um... Y'all, I been had my dresser downstairs from before I went down to Florida to shoot the show. I just never put it together. I got so tired of putting everything together, y'all. Like, if y'all watched my last vlog, y'all know I've been putting in so much work. I deserve a break. So, all these clothes are just sitting here. I have the dresser for them. I just haven't put it together, y'all. Suitcase, still here. Um, My content room, y'all, left just how I, how I had it, honestly, before I had... um. Left again. My friends was here. My Chipotle actually that's from last night, y'all. I ain't gonna cap. But yeah. 
pretty much I'm just I'm I'm I need to get back in my habits and I it's like uh, it's like, like I said, when my kids here, they keep me grounded. They make me want to actually do better. But when I'm home alone um, and my kids not around, I lose sight of what I'm really supposed to be doing. And I need to work on that. It's really hard, though. It's really, really hard. So we do got some wigs bleaching. So we get into our wig bag. Do got a wig to do today. You want to watch me clean my room up a little bit? Because my vlogs be full of time lapses, y'all. Like, honey. I mean, I be vlogging. What you want me to do? Talk while I'm vlogging? Immediately, no. Ain't that much stuff to talk I don't have that much stuff to talk about. Especially when people tell me to start a podcast. I do not have... Uh, start a podcast to say what? Like, I'm tired of black people in podcast mics. Ooh. I'm dead ass serious. I'm the last person that needs to be in front of a podcast mic. Please. Immediately, no. Let's get into it. So I just got on Amazon and ordered me two new key fobs for my car. Same day delivery between 5 and 10 p.m. today. So that's good, I guess. Let's get us some sunlight down here, y'all. So I did come back to some housewarming gifts on my table. I did let my cousin have um, my little cousin's birthday party here. And I was watching my ring camera the whole time while I was in Florida, y'all. And it just literally made me feel so good just seeing all the family in the front yard. Bounce house, water slide, splash pad music barbecue like i was just listening watching just glad that i finally am the house that i always wanted to be like growing up my mom house was you know the link up spot when my mom and dad was together we had our family reunions there well not family reunions but we had like our birthday parties there we had our get togethers there like all the pictures in the photo album all the family is at our house in the backyard in a family room downstairs or in the basement like and i always said i wanted my house to be that for my family to all just come together you know so i was tearing up i was so happy just watching my ring camera and i was just like wow i finally made it to the point that i said i was gonna make it if y'all didn't know my goals for 2024 was to go back to school which i am doing this coming august to be in a house which i am i don't own it sadly but i am renting but it's all right we're gonna work on them tax returns so we can get it together and my third goal was to start youtube y'all so we almost to 250,000 subscribers boom like we checking off everything every goal that i wanted to do and i'm so fucking grateful y'all like y'all work towards what you want even if even if it's from a different perspective you know like i said i wanted to be in a house this year and i only had to get in the house because i got put out of my last crib they say when you change your perspective amen so because that that little incident of me getting put out of there it didn't stop me nowhere we're even more blessed so yeah y'all but anyways back to these housewarming gifts i got let me show y'all so they got me some more bowls, some plastic forks and stuff like that. They got me some flowers, some more silverware plates. We got some snacks, a scrub daddy, okay. They love me, they know I love me some Dawn. Yes, I love that. Paper plates, water bottles. They know I love my good water. This is not sponsored, but an old cedar, okay. I really was getting tired of the, um, to other um what was that i was using y'all what's that i use swiffer the swiffer i was tired of that and we got some snacks so i'm honestly grateful for anything my family give me all this other shit we got going on i'm really grateful for anything anybody get me i'll be honest so i really appreciate my cousin and my sister i think is the people who got me this stuff 
So yeah, big part, we gotta put this away and get into it. Y'all, so I ended up taking a nap. Woke up at two o'clock, super hungry. I ate three drumsticks, two packs of Gushers. I fell asleep watching the Olympics. Hold on, y'all. Like I was saying, three drumsticks, two caramel, one vanilla. Mm. Two packs of Gushers, two bags of chips, Funyuns, and hot Cheetos. Mommy, I'm vlogging, honey. For my YouTube vlog, you want to say hey? Are y'all ready for Disney World? Yes. OMG, Mommy's just dreading getting her hair done. But I had a Pop-Tart and two bottles of water. Woke up so hungry. Then I fell asleep again. That was at 2 o'clock, y'all. Fell asleep again, and it's now 6 p.m. I woke up to some kids at my door, check my ring. So I'm happy about that because I still got to take mommy's hair down. But I still have to do my wig video, my hair and makeup, which usually take like three hours. But this this wig is pre-cut, pre-bleached, so it's really not going to take that long. But you feel me? Um. So yeah, y'all, let me show y'all what I actually got done earlier. You, go, you like my new calendar? Yeah, you go live. Okay, we go live in a minute. A person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. Proverbs 25, 28. Discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want the most. Amen? Abe hey, Lincoln said that. All the wig videos. Sorry. Birthday trip for Mumi's birthday. Enrolling back in school. I still know where we go when we go to Houston. Twenty yes, five. Yes. Oh dang, Minx. What the hell? You need to wash your hair, ASAP. You said twenty five and then twenty eight. Mm -hmm. It's twenty five and sixty eight. Why what me? Whoa. So I gotta hang that up. Whoa. And then I gotta pick up all this boxes of trash Whoa. and things. Cause I did get Whoa. some new wigs. So cute. Look at us. So Show yeah. Us. Oh wow. That's Not super cool. No Good job. Oh, All right, no. let's get Mumi's hair taken down so Mom can start her oh, hair, okay? I don't want to, but I don't want to wash it. You don't even know how, Mumi. How do you take it down? You have to take the rubber band out. Mm hmm Good job. So why you ain't do it yet? And then you take the. Do you need to take the pop bar off? Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't want to. Ow. She's about to turn me every way but loose once again. Well, no, no, and then after she get her hair done, she don't start school till September, so she's probably not going to get her done again Mama. until Mama. September, Mama. honestly. Mama. So, yeah. What? All right, all done. It's getting so thick and long, y'all. Especially in the middle. My sister got her this hair mask that we gonna put on. So I was thinking I should start my hair first and then wash her hair later. But I think Mommy's gonna get it over with, honestly. Wash it later. Okay, look at all that hair, Mumu. OMG. You gonna brush it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trying to think of a story time I could do while I'm doing my makeup, but my kids here, so I don't know if that's gonna go over well. Honestly, so cool, mommy. That one's got stuck in my head. <laughs> All right, I got my wig on. Water wave, big things. QTML. Hello. My key fob just got delivered, so let's see if we can program this to my car. I ended up calling the locksmith because, baby, I don't know what they're going on. It was supposed to be a blue light that turned on right here. No blue light. I did everything they said, so. I'm waiting on the locksmith. Girl, she was so motherfucking rude on that phone. Barely let me get anything out. Like, hello? At the end of the call, she like, okay, we'll, ha we'll have one of our specialists contact you. I was gonna ask, are they gonna be able to come today? Boop, 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 like, bitch. Ho. Slut. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll do my makeup. I don't know feel like doing nothing, and I'm kind of still hungry as hell. Can you make me some noodles?
I don't know if I'm gonna watch the movies here tonight or tomorrow. Did I ask y'all in the last video? Let me know down in the comments what hair y'all using y'all kids' hair when you washing it. <sighs> Hopefully they come reprogram and it's nothing actually wrong with my car. That'll really be a bummer. <sighs> All right, y'all. The real prep is gonna start once I get my car fixed and then we can run errands. Yeah! Good morning. It is 7.30 a.m. First night with my kids back and we up, honey. Not by choice. Um, I caught a locksmith last night. I think I told y'all this. So they can program my new keys to my car. So we can get up and get some errands done and get all this shit together that we got to pack up. I definitely forgot I was vlogging last night. Oops. My bad. But it's all right. Nothing special. Listen, nothing spectacular happened. Did my wig, did my makeup, did my wig videos. It went on about my day. Okay. I gotta clean my kitchen, wash mommy's hair, her hair appointment at 4 p.m. I'm gonna ask my um, cousin, can he line my son up today, get all that out the way, and then go get my son's suitcase today, go get the basics, like first aid kits, um, collapsible water bottles, snacks, all the stuff that you're gonna need, like while you wait in a line at Disney World and stuff like that. Let me know down in the comments if y'all ever been to Disney World, if y'all plan on going, um, and if you have went, what was, how old were your kids that you took? And what was the worst thing about it? Other than the wait times in line, what was the worst thing about it? I'm just so excited, y'all. I'm so happy. I'm so geeked. I'm so stressed. I'm so everything. Like, every emotion I could feel, I'm it, you know? So, um, people are asking me, is Chris going on the Disney World trip? Immediately, yes. I know, I know, I know, I know. But, like I told y'all before, every time I take my kids somewhere, they asking for their dad. They always want dad and mom together. And it's her birthday. We going to somewhere big. I don't think he ever been. And, you know, fuck where he been. I'm so worried about it, but I still... I know, y'all. Please. Forgive me. But no, for real, y'all. Um, We just want some, you know, cute memories and things like that. We was gonna be gone for six days, so I don't know. They just always want their dad. Yes, he will be coming, y'all. No, I won't be vlogging a Disney trip because this is my first time going to Disney, so I want to be able to enjoy my time without pulling out, having to pull out a camera. You know, no, I don't have a cameraman, nothing like that. We might do a quick little TikTok vlog, like, pick, like, ooh, you know, but not, not a full YouTube vlog because I'm literally not gonna feel like. I'm literally gonna forget about this camera. Like, I wanna go be in a splash pad too. I wanna go ride a couple roller coasters too. I'm finna literally dish the kids with Chris for a whole day and I'm gonna go to where the fuck I wanna go, okay? Um, but for Mumi's birthday, which is gonna be the, which is the seventh, that's the first day. So we leave out, we fly out on the sixth, we land on the sixth, and then the first day we was just gonna explore the resort. We staying at the Dolphin Hotel. Let me know what resort y'all stayed at too if you went to Disney World. We stayed at the hotel. I mean, we stay in the hotel for the first day just to, you know, this is going to be their first flight. So I want them to sleep, get some sleep in and boop, boop, boop. And then the next day, which is the seventh, is the first the first day at a four day four park magic ticket. I think that's what I got. So then the first day we're going to go to, I think, Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom. I'm not sure. And the second, third, fourth day, we just going to go with the flow. My eczema flared up in Florida, y'all, because I dried my skin. I'm taking so many showers with my host, the other host of the show. And it hurt so bad. But I don't have a doctor's appointment until the 13th. They couldn't get me into the 13th. So <sighs> they're just going to prescribe my cream. So we got it programmed. Thank the heavens. Yay. And this one to you guys. I wish I would have asked for the price beforehand, y'all, because it was $300. $300 to program two keys, bro. Why didn't they tell me this price before? I would have jumped under that engine and started it with my knuckles. So we about to wash our hair, clean the kitchen, and then get ready for our hair appointment and Mink's haircut. Yeah, are you ready? Yay! Got it all blow dry. How you feeling, mommy? Good. Good. Yes, honey, let's put it in a puff ball and then go to your hair appointment and start our day, okay? I don't have to do my hair right now. Yeah, in two hours, remember? Okay. 
Okay, come on. We're about to open it up. Come on, y'all. I literally had so many. I thought it was recording us opening our suitcase in our mini mouse ears, but it wasn't. See y'all again, my fucking head was chopped off in the last clip. I need to work on this vlog and stuff for real. I need to get in my bag. But anywho, y'all. Got her hair done. Minks go get his hair cut tomorrow, actually. I got a wig to do tomorrow. We gonna start packing tomorrow and Monday because we leave Monday night, 2 a.m. I don't know if I told you all this stuff already or not, but <sighs> a lot of people keep asking, are you pregnant, are you pregnant? It's literally a vlog with a thumbnail, with a pregnancy test and a thumbnail. Like, why don't y'all just go watch that vlog? Make sure you don't skip no ads, honey, get me out the hood, amen? So, I don't know what the hell y'all want from me, honestly. Let's do what I got from Meyer Hall. Hello. I got some extra large black tees because Chris is extra large. He really needs to be a 2X, honestly, but he's trying to hold on to his 26-year-old body. Baby, you 32. You got to let that go. You got to let it go. But I got these. I'm going to wear one of the extra large t-shirts. Um, this will be wearing to the airport. Black shirt, black sweatpants, light, okay? Then this is our necessities bag, okay? So we got a first aid kit. Because I heard, you know, when the kids be running around, they might fall, scrape their knees. I don't want to hear that crying all day. Let's patch it up. Let's go have some fun. Amen. So, we got some wet wipes in case a bum try to touch me. Ew. Well, Chris going to be touching me all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it don't matter. So, um, yeah, we got these wipes. I don't know really. Uh, yeah, but just like maybe wipe her hands or something. I got my... I usually get the purple Olay, hello, but I smelt it, and it just smells so good in the store. I was like, I should try this one. <sighs> Please, Olay, you're the best. Because, you know, minty fresh, hello, I have braces. And then we got a travel size toothpaste, because I already got another travel size toothpaste that I just got um, when I was in Florida that last week, so we gonna have two of these. And we is gonna be there for six days, so we might actually need about six more of these, honestly. So that's all we got right now. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna start packing tomorrow. Um, I am going to keep this one in my bathroom and I'm taking this one with me because, yeah. <sighs> so exciting. Let me know down in the comments what else. Um, somebody told me go to Kissing Me Walmart in Florida for the mansion shirts for Disney for the first day. Um, Kissing Me Walmart, whatever that is. So, I'm going to do that. I got me and Kyla. I don't know if y'all know what this game is, but this is an OG game. This is literally the funnest game. Me and my sister played this. This used to start real fights in my This used to start real fights in my house. I'm talking about knuck if you buck, squat up if you want. Like, I love this game. I was just teaching Mumi. She was literally just that white gummy shit. I was just teaching Mumi how to play. She was she was damn near winning, winning the second time by the time she really learned how to play. So, I damn near was waiting like this, like Good morning. Today is Sunday reset day. <laughs> I'm tired of cleaning up. Today I got a wig to do. We gonna start packing these bags. And I actually wanna put my dresser together before I go um, so I can get them clothes off my floor. Let's get into the walkthrough. So, while I'm editing this, as y'all know, I did have COVID. Well, let me stop saying I had COVID, y'all, because I never went to the doctor. I went up to the hospital. It was too many people in the waiting room. So, I just got up and got my black ass and went home and took some DayQuil. Even though you're not supposed to take DayQuil um, when you got what I got going on. But, hey, you guys, listen, I was in pain. I had to take something. So, the first day was the worst. I was crying. Literally, everything was in pain from the top to the bottom of my feet. And they and the bottom of my feet was seasoned, too, because, as y'all can see, my house was dirty. I was too sick to clean up. Like, listen, everything was just, it, it was just too much going on. So, I'm literally just doing a walkthrough and showing y'all how dirty the house is. Like, just, it's, it's socks everywhere. It's the guest bathroom. I don't even be knowing who be using the guest bathroom, but we ain't never got no toilet paper down there. Like, what Benny be doing? What do Benny be doing, y'all? So, literally, this is just a walkthrough. Honestly, I don't even want to hear myself talk. Like, I just feel I'm so congested. It's just so nasty. I really can't wait to start decorating my living room. So, when I get over my sickness, I'm going to be able to um, let the girl... <sighs> 
my bad y'all let the girl come decorate my living room i did get a new basketball hoop it's outside can't wait to show you guys that i rearranged my room today this is sunday reset cleaning day like from a couple days ago sorry my bad y'all uh but yeah y'all rearranged my room so i'm gonna show y'all that at the end make sure y'all like comment subscribe let me know do y'all do sunday resets or do y'all deep clean once a month once every six months or do y'all just straighten up every day and then do a good cleaning on saturdays or whatever let me know this how i was living clothes i'm still i'm i'm thinking about just rewashing all them clothes before i even put them up in a drawer mind you y'all my dresser let me tell you what it is i spent five hours putting together the dresser I tried to carry it upstairs by myself. I flipped it up them stairs. I'm telling you, I got it upstairs by myself. I did. That I did. And it broke. I'm going to show you all that too. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like five hours of my hard work literally going to waste. It's literally broken. So I ordered me a new one. It don't come till next week Sunday. But oh my gosh, y'all. Like that really, like my whole day is gone. My whole day just spent on putting together a dresser. And it ain't nobody for mine. Because why you ain't just wait till you had help? You know, you could have waited for your nephews or maybe that anybody you could have waited to come help you. And you want to just flip it upstairs like you miss, miss Incredible. Like, no, nothing about you was incredible at all. Except how you do wigs, amen. And I am a bad bitch and I can't sing a little bit. I can do makeup as well. I am good at math. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> His rooms don't really be that dirty. They just be having clothes. And why she always got my towel card in her damn room? She think it's a medical kit or something because she be talking about she and her doctor bag. Maybe you could be in your doctor bag, but keep my shit in my room. So basically, we gonna get all this stuff together, get it all out, and clean it up. So I'm editing, and I realized I didn't even record no cleaning, and I didn't do a walkthrough after I cleaned it. But I literally, I ate down when I did my Sunday reset, honey. So my bad. Just know I did it. It got done. Now we on to whatever the hell I was doing this day, cause I don't remember. All right, wash this butt. Now we're getting ready for Mimi's haircut appointment. I did just order Mumi's a Minnie Mouse convertible. I'm literally supposed to be budgeting for this Disney trip for the food since I didn't get the dining pass, but oh well, honey, oh well. I will fix my lace, but I really don't care enough, you know? Come on, Mimi, let's brush your hair. I use this little mini brush and I'll spray water and even conditioner in it. Look at Mumi's outfit. Back up so they can see. OMG, so cute. Wait, I just got my suitcase. She loves the suitcase, y'all. She can't wait to go. Come on, Minx. He eat a Pop Tart being greedy. He holding it like. Oh, and bro. Take this out now. Can we take this out? I got a backpack. Don't lay on your hair and mess it up. Come on, Mommy. Let's do your edges. Yeah. So cute. All right. Now, Mom. It's gonna claw clip this mess up and call it a day. Are you picking up your mini mouse car first. I thought you said you're going to put a haircut, then we're picking up my mini mouse car. Nope. Because after we get from Brother Haircut, you gotta go to Aunt Debbie's. Off to Walmart! I just know that ain't. What the? What's up, y'all? <laughs> you look a loser. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Good. All right, that's fine. Okay. We really need a lot of tape. Drop the kitties off now. I'm gonna eat some crab. Finally home. Stomach hurt so bad. The crawfish was so nasty. I think my friend is here cooking dinner. She's supposed to be cooking dinner, you guys. I think she's here already. Let's see. Yay! Yeah. Say hi to my vlog. This is Jordy and Shari, y'all. OMG, I forgot what you said you was cooking. Okay, so I'm making some Alfredo. Um, so oh I got the gosh. video right here. I can make some Wi Fi. I am. Oh my gosh. What's going on? We don't care no more. Oh, here we go. Listen, if you're one fatal mm. garlic bread, mm. mm -hmm. bet it. Okay. Come so, on, show some? Okay. Why are we going upstairs? Because <laughs> I can't find the whole town. Oh, okay. Man, that's what I forgot to start. I was talking. Okay, they're usually in this basket. Oh, I am. Here, bitch. Wash that ass. 
Oh, and do you guys, I totally forgot to vlog that night. The food was delicious. Some of my friends came over. We played cards. We chopped it up. We made jokes. Love being around my friends and family to help me escape the internet. You know, it can be too much at times. But the food was delicious, y'all. I'm sorry. I, I literally, uh, okay. Get into it. The next, this, the next clip is the next morning, okay? Good morning. So, last night my friends came over as well. So, I cooked some chicken and shrimp alfredo garlic bread oh my gosh y'all i ate a whole foot long of garlic bread to myself literally um it was so good i fell asleep woke up at 5 a.m put a load in the washer and then i fell back asleep and that was 11 o'clock we have so much to do y'all i have a wig to do today i left it bleaching when i fell asleep last night i left it bleaching for six hours y'all the knots are gone let me just show y'all. Do not bleach your wigs for this long. But this is why I over bleach too. Because look, I don't have to pluck anything. You feel me? So, yeah. So, we have a lot to do, you guys. What do I got to do? I got to get to the library. Pack up. Do a wig. I thought I had a lot to do, but now it don't sound like I do. Okay, y'all. Let me get up, wash my tail feather. Actually, I took a shower last night. Do that count? I do sweat in my sleep, huh? Fuck it! Mm -hmm. I won't be washing my ass this morning. Gonna brush our teeth, comb this head. Going up, went to the library. Still ain't took this out my car, as you can see. Who cares? So basically, what I literally was just thinking about was jealousy. I don't know why this was came to my mind, but jealousy, you guys. I know the internet tried to make a lot of things seem not normal or haterish, but being jealous is a normal human emotion. How you react to that jealousy, amen, is what determines your character. Okay, so if you are jealous of someone and it turns you into a hater and it makes you despise them, it turns into envy, that's a character flaw in your half. When I get jealous of someone, because yes, I am human, I do get jealous of people. When I get jealous of people, which is not good to compare yourself, but it may, it motivates me my jealousy fuels my motivation like when i see somebody with something that i want and i know all i gotta do is work hard to get it i'm not gonna turn hater like oh that bitch don't even deserve that oh that bitch no i'm be like oh bet that just mean i gotta go a little bit harder you feel me like it, when i'm jealous of someone it motivates me it motivates me it doesn't make me turn into a hater to that person i really just look within and be like okay this person obviously doing something i want to do or got something that i that i want or achieve something that I want to achieve one day. If they can do it, you can do it too. If anybody can do anything, you can do it too, honey. Except like gymnastics, among vials, like shit. Like, no, you can never be some vials, honey. <laughs> you can never do what small vials do. Of course, with hard work and dedication, of course, work towards it. But, you know, um, I don't know why that was on my mind heavy, but I just was thinking about that. Like, you know, y'all gotta, if you, if you find yourself comparing yourself to people a lot on, social media that's the telltale sign you need to put your phone down first of all second of all you can't really compare on social media because people gonna show only the good people only gonna you know people of course people not gonna get on the internet and be like my light bill off i'm i'm 16 months behind on my credit card but like of course people not gonna willingly put the bad stuff out there so when something good happens they're gonna post it you know they want they i guess they want that instant validation instant gratification whatever it is you know and i used to do that too i used to post all of my accomplishments as soon as it happened i learned that the more accomplishments that i keep to myself the more they flourish if you get what i'm saying like yeah big things that i can like vlog like moving into my new house that's a big accomplishment i did post that as soon as i moved in first day honey i was vlogging it up but little minor accomplishments that like are piece of my life together behind the scenes y'all when you don't always post everything out for everything to see, everybody to see that, especially strangers that don't know you, like the internet, I don't know y'all, I'm learning now. Cause when I first started off on TikTok, I shared everything, like everything, honey. You couldn't pay me to, to, to have a little bit of privacy in my motherfucking life. Everything that was going on, TikTok knew about it right away. 
And as I got a bigger platform and as I started realizing, okay, this is not your small little group of people that you fuck with no more, Eddie. You're expanding. Um, it's people that don't even fuck with you watching all the screen record and see what you're going to say. So they can put it on Twitter. So they can put it on Instagram. So they can put it on Facebook, you know? Once I had to realize that and I was like, okay, I got a bigger platform now. I'm not able to really... It really just made me realize, okay, bitch, pipe down. Keep some of your shit to yourself because people can't wait to pearl your downfall that jealousy they feel is turning into hatred it's not motivating them it's making them hate you erica so basically y'all the moral of this conversation which i don't know honestly but keep going keep working for what you want keep doing what you need to do to get to where you need to be in life don't compare your life to if you 20 years old and you doing this, you doing that. You see another 20 year old just bought a penthouse. You don't know what the fuck she had to do. To, you don't know what she went through to get that. Everybody's path is not the same. Everybody not going to have the same life journey. That's why it's your life. And you only have one. So use your life to work hard for you instead of worrying about the next people and using their life to somehow discredit your own. Don't do that. Why is your stupid ass? Anywho, y'all, so always, always celebrate your accomplishments, period. Um, always just keep going. Keep going. Don't let nothing stop you. It may be some hard bumps in the road. It's going to be some hard bumps in the road. I love yapping if y'all haven't heard. I mean, if y'all can tell. Love yapping, actually. So is the Walgreens open or... Oh, they must be in there doing construction. Okay. Ooh, it's hot, honey. All right, let's get to this library, y'all. I look like somebody. I need to get a wallet. I don't know where my I don't know where my LMCU card at. I don't know where my driver's license at. I don't know where none of my new cars that I ordered at. I don't know where nothing is at. It's so irresponsible of me. I need to get a new wallet. Seriously, I definitely need to get a new wallet. All right, see you on the flip side. Yeah, it's windy. I literally didn't even need to come to the library. I did it all on my phone. I guess maybe because it's closer to the date of us going, they let the tickets on my phone. But when I was trying to get the tickets on my phone, it wasn't let me link it to the app. And now as soon as I'm at the library, I go to the app and I can link it. Oh. So basically just sat at the computer while I did everything on my phone, honestly. Got the ticket to my mobile pass. Exciting, exciting. And now we're about to go to, maybe I should eat something first. Definitely wish I would have, I definitely was up enough early. For, oh my God, I didn't put them clothes in the dryer. Oh Lordy. Okay, well, Chris should be on the way to the house. So I'm going to tell him to put the clothes in the dryer. I want to go get something to eat, y'all. I want to. Let's get into it. Best Buy, Best Buy. They got it. They got it. Okay, I just looked on Google and I seen some Spider-Man um, headphones. And then Mumi's probably going to want some unicorn headphones. Most likely she in her unicorn bag these days. Really, if they pink, she not going to care. So, let's get into it. I don't like recording right here, but... Show me what you got. Ha <laughs> ha. I do need some cameras in my living room and shit like that. You feel me? Most definitely do. But not right now. Okay, headphones. This side looks kind of boring. This side even worse. Wait a minute. What's going on? Nah. Nah. This ain't what I seen on Google, honey. This is not what I seen on Google. So they do have the headphones. I just have to show them the skew online. I got Mumi's. Damn, what did I get her? I got Mink Spider-Man headphones, of course, and Mumi's got Gabby, Gabby's Playhouse headphones, some shit. So he had to go to the back and get some, so I guess we can have a dance break while we wait. All right, in and out, in and out. So now I am going to, I did get Gabby Dollhouse, but now I am going, where am I going now? So headphones that I needed, link the Disney passes, check, check. Okay, we getting through this shit, y'all, okay. Immediately, yes. 
I'm gonna just go give me some Krispy Kreme donuts, tear them up. What else do I need y'all before I drive all the way home? Mall to get my son some shorts. Yes, exactly that. We gonna figure it out! Luckily, I was literally across the street from TJ Maxx. So yeah, let's get into this. Literally, TJ Maxx and Burlington, boom, always got grease. I don't know why I be going to the Foot Locker, buying that shit for a regular price, and I can literally go into Burlington, get a Nike set for, what, $20? Sometimes even $15.99 if I really find a motherfucking deal, okay? So we're here to find my son some more shorts, because Mumi's got enough shorts, y'all. Y'all finna see, and then... Yeah, all that good stuff. Find some shorts, probably a couple shirts too. He got shirts, but just like, I, I want him, you know, I want him comfortable. So, oh yes, yes, yes. I always love their purse selection. Like, look at this. Don't this give bossy? Nine West, my mom used to wear these purses. And she definitely gave bossy sometimes, I mean, sometimes. All right, let's get into it. This is all they have for my son, you guys. And these are for, you guessed it, Christopher. I know, I know, settle down. Krispy Kreme! Can I go in this door? I literally have never walked in and bought donuts in here, y'all. I usually get them from Speedway. It's so, ooh, it smells so sweet and delicious, you guys. OMG, I'm gonna give me an orange juice or apple juice, actually. Let's get into, ooh, some donut balls. I got two minis and two regulars. And my apple juice. Yay, so I'm finna smash this. I'm gonna eat this in the car because I'm supposed to be meeting somebody and then if they take too long, I'm going home, okay? Longhorns. Then we're gonna go to Walmart, try and find some shorts and then get home and pack up. Do a wig, not doing my makeup tonight. So I really gotta eat the wig down if I'm not gonna do my makeup, y'all. I'm literally so full, you guys. OMG, look at that belly. We're back at Best Buy because I forgot I need portable chargers. Because waiting in them lines, I know my son and my daughter going to play on their iPad and they, oh. Oh my gosh, I told him quit touching my face with dirty hands. Ugh. Anyways, waiting in them lines, I know they're going to charge their stuff up, so. We are about to get some portable chargers at Best Buy, and then I have to go to Walmart. Still trying to find some more shorts. Hold on. It's a black man walking by my car. I was gonna leave my doors unlocked, but <laughs> sorry. I see y'all when I see y'all, honestly. I just woke up from a nap. My stomach hurts so bad, y'all. Like, look, I need to go to the doctor and get that checked out, honey, but I'm about to install this beautiful wig. Jerry curl, we gonna wine curl it. And then get to packing the bags because my kids are back now. And yeah. Uh, um, I'm horrible at vlogging these days. Like, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, honestly. My kids are back. We're going to pack their bags. And boom, I'm going to be done. I'm not doing my makeup for this wig video. No, ma'am. Um, I don't have time. I woke up too late. I set my alarm for 6.45, but I woke up at 8.15, so... I've been sleeping a lot lately, really tired, really exhausted. It's just, it's a lot weighing down on my body, okay? No pun intended. <laughs> but all right, y'all, let me finish this wig and then get into it, okay? We made it to our gate. Turn that, pause that for me real quick. Please. We just ate some Coney Island. <laughs> they said they're not gonna be scared. Y'all ready to fly? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna fly with my oh, suitcase. The I got it, I got the train. Oh, wow, they love this train up here. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. This is gonna be an adventure. I will not be vlogging the Disney trip. I know, I know. So we did stay at the Dolphin Resort Hotel. And it's pretty cute. I guess I'll give y'all a little tour downstairs. Look at that beautiful chandelier. So there's a bar right there where you can watch some sports, things like that. Sitting area. And then this store field has like subway things you can see. 
you got gifts, elevators, and transportation. And that's the front lobby. You got the desks over there. We are right there. This is not where the water taxi at. We got to get the water bottle. Oh. This is mine at the A. Water car. This is, this connects the Swan and the Dolphin Hotel. That's a Swan Hotel over there, another resort. Um, and that is the beach over there and playground, part of the pool area. I'm gonna show you the pool area when we get back. So yeah, you guys, beautiful, so hot. I really don't even know how you enter onto the water taxi, but I guess we'll figure it out soon enough. We all getting tans out here. Water tank right here. I said how we enter. Right there. You can see it's like my third time being down here. No, it's know? not. So I can show you the ins and the outs. It's so beautiful, you guys. Hey, we could have missed the ride. Come on, we gotta run, y'all. Hey, run, mommy. I think we missed it. All the transportation is part of the resort fee if you look through the resort so you can get to the studio and stuff. Just not the um just not the water parks. We missed it because Mumi's had to go pee. So we're just gonna wait for the next one. Getting on the boat. We are at Hollywood Studio. Try again. I really want to do Minnie Mouse's ride or the something about some railroad thing. It's so hot, y'all. Listen to him always yapping. Always ain't go yapping. Have it good. Hello. Stroller rental. It's so cute. We just ate. We got to get on at least one ride, but you're talking about food. Just being greedy. Should we get a stroller or not? Nah? Dang, I forgot to get that money. Whoa, Dang, come on. Did pay for the photo package, so when you pay, you can just find somebody in the green and then stand in line for the pictures. And we're next, so we're about to take some pics. Beautiful scenery. Beauty and the Beast show. Sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away, but she's found within. It's raining again. But he got one umbrella and they got, Papa ain't got nothing. He got to get rained on. So we just ate, as you can see. Just ate, now we're gonna go to Elsa's Let It Go sing along and go have some fun over there. See ya. This is the Star Wars part, Indiana Jones. So y'all know I gotta mute this part because she was up there howling, let it go, let it go. <clears throat> exactly that. So Mumi was having a blast, honey. Watch when she shoot out some of this snow. Now this was my favorite part. Like the snow started falling. It was just magical. It was beautiful even. Mumi was the left and said, the snow got in my hair. Like exactly that. Look, it's magical. Like... Disney is just, it's just magic. It's so magical. So I really love this part, you guys. It's really one of my top moments. And Mumi's wanted to go to it again, so. Yes, yes. Give that, give that a 10 out of 10 immediately, yes. all these extra stuff on the plans? In the bags. I have a big suitcase that barely had anything in it. 
Anywho, now we're going to Elsa shop to get Mumi something. Really, it's been a say no to Mumi's trip. I mean, don't can't say no. I mean, okay, say yes to Mumi the whole trip since it's her birthday trip. So we gotta go to this Elsa shop and see. Then we wanna we wanna go to the Mickey Mouse ride. It's a 40 minute wait, or but at least it's under shade. So let's see what's over here. What's going on? You want that for me? You sure? We gotta make sure it's your size, mommy. Can you fit this? Let me see. Okay. Do you think you should get size three? Okay, that looks like it's gonna fit good. Let's get it three. Help us. All right, come on, let's get in line, mommy. We gotta pay, mommy. Hi. Wanna do mini at me? Now we're about to do Runaway Railway. It's a 40 minute wait, you guys, in line, so. Come on, go, go. Let me clean my camera. Toy Story Land. It's so beautiful. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Glasses for the ride, I guess. <laughs> that ride was actually fun. It was like a game during a ride. And you shoot, I got 70K, Chris got 68, Minx got 21, and Mumi's got 27. Wowzers. So I think that was my favorite ride, or that or the Mini Mouse one. Now we're gonna find some slushies and maybe one more ride and then go home. <laughs> my Minx wanna go swim when we get back to the hotel, so. We're gonna see what's tease. Just got off Slinky Dog. So good. My kids did so good. Usually, I literally kept my eyes closed on roller coasters until I was, what, 21 years old? And then somebody had told me they keep their eyes open. So I was like, let me try and keep my eyes open. That's when I learned. My son, five. My daughter, four, as y'all know. They kept their eyes open the whole time. My son wasn't even scared. Like, if I would have been that small, I, was I said, my son. Oh. Yes, mind your business. Um, My son wasn't even scared. If I would've been five on that roller coaster, honey, I probably would've been screaming the whole time, crying like mummies, who knows? You were screaming. Like for fun, not because I was actually scared. Why was you crying then? When was I crying? Yay. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> Have fun, honey. <laughs> so, um, she said, I know that ain't big moves. <laughs> Um, what was I just talking about? Oh yeah, the roller coaster. I give it a 20 out of 10. I loved it. I think we today we rode all the rides for toddler rides today. And I think this was a success. All the other days, I think, ooh, just getting started. But I feel like this was the last day we knew. You feel me? And then the wait times was hours still, but we got through it, honey. So today was a success. Last day at Disney. Now we're gonna go swim. And we're gonna go back to the resort, go swim. Get some wing stop because I do want to try wing stop. They said my wing stop in Michigan be nasty every time I order it. But we're gonna try it down in Florida and see what they hit on. So things like that. I'm out of breath, y'all. I'm so hot. But I had so much fun. Hopefully the kitties did too. Chris, you had fun? Yeah. They really don't care if you had fun, honestly. But we had a blast. And now I wanna go to Cedar Point next because I miss roller coaster so much. Alright, let's get to this Uber, get some food, get to swimming. On a flip side. Okay. Good. 16 for the balloon. Mommy's fourth birthday celebration. Hey, don't let it go. Well, it's gonna fall down anyways. Did you have fun, Mommy? 
Oh wow, mommy. Uh, so they're downstairs swimming. I literally don't feel good. Stomach hurts. Uh, just ate some nasty wing slap. I thought it was going to be different. The blue cheese is thicker at least, but the wings are still disgusting. I want to order something else to eat, honestly. Just watching the Umbrella Academy season four. A lot of people on Twitter was like, it's so wack. That's why you get your own opinion on things and watch it yourself because I'm liking it so far. Who is this Jennifer bitch? How was her and Ben connected? What's going on? Like, how was this? Like, listen, they connected. They had them red powers going on. How she got more powers than everybody connected, even Victor. Because that bitch Victor, I mean, that man, my bad. That man Victor, he goes crazy. So, if, if Jennifer got more powers than all of them, okay. And then it's giving the world for the end again because Ben and Jennifer, like, Y'all, if y'all watch the Umbrella Academy, let me know down in the comments what season y'all on. Do y'all like the fourth season? If y'all even started it. And if you haven't started, I feel like you should. If you into like superhero, superpowers and stuff like that. It also got some comedy. I be cracking the fuck up. It's funny as hell. Um, Season one and two are the best seasons, y'all. Season three, I like season three. I just binge watched season three literally while I've been down here in Florida for Mumi's birthday trip. So I binge watched the whole season three while I was down here. I didn't even know that it was dropping in season four while I was going to be down here. So that's a plus. But... Yeah, y'all, I'm just not feeling good enough to be down there swimming and stuff like that. So, we do have to wake up at 4 a.m. It's 11, it was 10 something right now. We do got to wake up at 4, well, 3.45, to be honest, because our flight is at 6. And, you know, I like to be at least two hours early to the airport just to make sure we get through TSA and all that other good stuff. So, <sighs> flight home tomorrow. My nephew is picking us up from the airport because we are flying into Detroit and not Grand Rapids. It's going to be a two-hour drive home, so we should get home by 10.30. Chris is going back to his mom's. Chris does not live with me. Me and Chris are not back together, <laughs> okay? Let's just date that right there. Um, This was a birthday trip. Y'all got to be out of your rabbit-ass mind to ever think I was taking two toddlers out of the state by myself immediately now, especially when they were just going to be asked for their dad anyways to come, so. I think that's them. Yeah! I jumped in the pool. You front flipped in the pool. Yeah. Oh, did yes. you record? Yes. Oh, uh, MG, let me see. You're gonna put it in the blog. You want to McDonald's? No. Hey. 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 That was cool, man. Good job, son. So proud. He was like, look, I can flip in the pool. And he just did it. I was like, damn, son. Oh, MG, wasn't scared. Look at it. Oh, wow, mommy. Yeah, mommy's learning how to swim. But even after eating, I still feel like shit. Go to my eyes. So, I don't know. Something going on in my stomach, y'all. I'm not sure. Might be a bug going around. Might be something going on. All right. This should be the end of the vlog, honestly. Hopefully, it's enough. Hey. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, Moose Mafia. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. was teased. Anything y'all want to say to the vlog? No? Did you like the chicken? Are you sure? It's not trash? I don't like it. All right. Until we meet again.